Uh, the next testifier is attorney Marjorie Brunster, and she is the attorney for the other side opposing the county on this. We are the clients here. I'm not going to object to her testifying, but I do just want to say that I consider it um, it's questionable ethically for the attorney on the opposing side um, to, uh, you know, contact directly the clients. But I'm not objecting to it. I think it's best to just go ahead. We have things in writing. But I want to just point that out um, in terms of my uh, uh, personal opinion. Um, Mahalo. Uh, that will be noted. Uh, Ms. Bronster, uh, three minutes to testify on each agenda item you have. I think you're, yeah, go right ahead. Thank you, Chair Kanuha. Oh, Vice sorry. Please turn on your microphone. Vice Chair Poindexter and uh, council members. Yeah. I will not read the testimony that I have submitted, um, but I do want to highlight certain points in the interest of time. I am here, as has been noted, and I represent the plaintiffs in the action um, against the county with respect to 113. My clients include the Hawaii Floriculture and Nursery Association, Hawaii Papaya Industry Association, the Big Island Banana Growers Association, the Hawaii Cattlemen's Council, the Pacific Floral Exchange, Biotech Industry Organization, Richard Ha, Jason Moniz, Gordon Inoue, Eric Tonoy, and in the state court action, Ross C. Bukow. In total, there are hundreds of farmers who are represented by these various organizations. And in keeping with the chair's request, I am not here to talk about the merits of the action or the merits of the appeal, but solely the issue before you today, which is whether or not the county should delegate its representation to Earth Justice and a 501c3, which is the Center for Food Safety. I would submit to you that the law does not allow it. It is appropriate in certain circumstances for the county attorney to hire outside counsel and have special deputies representing the interests of the county. When I was a government lawyer, we did that frequently, but never once have I ever heard of a county authorizing a private 501c3 with special interests to represent the county. This is not a situation like the county of Kauai, who went out and did an appropriate RFP asking for private attorneys to represent them for free. This is quite different. This is an effort to take the county's position and give it to someone who has been denied intervener status and instead allow, you have 30 seconds. allow them to represent the county. I would also state that there is a problem with the state case because there is an injunction against anyone other than counsel seeing the records. And by going through this effort, CFS and its hundreds of members may have access to information that is confidential according to the state court. We urge you to allow the corp counsel to represent the county in any appeal and not delegate. Thank you.